Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I'm Justin, and I've heard what you've been saying. You said, Justin, please, please. I love learning about different places on the Earth. Could you please teach us about another biome? Well, today is your lucky day, because today I'm going to be teaching you guys about a really cool place. And I mean it. A really cool place. The Arctic. Unlike other biomes that we've talked about that can be found all over the Earth, the Arctic is only found in one place. It's right up here at the most top or northern part of the Earth. And let me tell you, it gets cold there. I'm not talking five degrees below zero cold or even 10, not 20 or even 50 degrees below zero. In the Arctic, it gets as cold as 70 degrees below zero. Wow. There's also an ocean up here too. And that's called the Arctic Ocean. Makes sense. About half the year, it's all icy and cold and it looks like this. And the other half of the year, all the ice and snow melts and the ocean looks like this. Huh. Another cool thing about the Arctic is that during the winter months, it's dark all the time. Every day, no sunshine. It's only until the springtime when the sun starts to come back into the sky. But during the summer months, it's sunshine all day, every day, no darkness. So if you were there, you'd go to bed when it's still light out. No wonder the Arctic is sometimes called the land of the midnight sun. Hmm. Now, you may think that with all the extreme temperatures and freezing winds and the cold and the ice and the snow and the days and months of darkness, that nothing could live in the Arctic. Wrong. There is so much life in the Arctic. It's not just a lonely, barren, cold area of nothingness. The animals that live in the Arctic depend on the freezing of the ocean and the land. And then when the ice melts, the freezing and the melting, it's a seasonal rhythm that the animals need to survive and thrive. Well, what kinds of animals are we talking about? Well, there's microorganisms in the ice, fish and sea mammals in the ocean, birds, 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 and birds, and land animals like polar bears and seals. Most of these animals don't live anywhere else in the world. The Arctic is the only place they call their home. So let's take a minute and learn about some of these amazing animals and how they're able to survive in the cold, cold weather. Do you know what kind of animal this is? That's right, it's a polar bear. You could say that a polar bear is the king of the Arctic. We're talking huge. A polar bear's paw is the size of a large dinner plate. These massive bears go out onto the ice and hunt for seals. They eat as much as they can and fill up their bellies in the wintertime because when the summer rolls around, there's not as much food around for them to eat. They'll take it slow, not use up too much energy. They'll wait for the ice to reappear in the fall when it gets cooler. And then they'll go out and hunt more and fill up their bellies all over again. While most polar bears are out hunting on the ice, a mother polar bear will hide in a cozy den to have her babies. This is a picture of what a polar bear's den looks like underground. You can see that there is an entrance to go in and out and special little places for the mother polar bear and her babies. There's even an air hole so that the polar bears can still breathe underneath all that ice. The Arctic is also home to a special kind of big cat called a lynx. A lynx has big, wide feet that help it run fast across the snow without sinking in. You know, a lynx's feet are kind of like snowshoes, which people wear to keep themselves from sinking into the snow too. Do you know what kind of animal this is? That's right, it's a wolf. The Arctic wolf lives in the Arctic. I 
Guess that's why they call it the Arctic Wolf, huh? Anyway, these guys are powerful hunters, and they'll hunt together in a group called a pack. The Arctic Wolf will howl to other members of its pack in order to talk to each other. Whoa, who's cold in the Arctic? Not this guy. This is a walrus, and it's got tons of layers of fat, or blubber, underneath its skin to keep warm. Do you see those big white teeth it's got? Those are called tusks. A walrus uses its tusks to move across the ice or to lift itself up out of the water. It's not so much the fat as it is the fur for these guys. Musk oxen. They have several thick layers of fur to keep them warm. They'll also travel in groups called herds. As a matter of fact, musk oxen have a clever way of keeping each other safe. If a baby musk ox is in danger, like say from a predator, the other musk oxen will form a tight circle around it, horns out. Hmm, who's hiding here? Can you see the arctic fox in this image? Can you see the arctic hare in this one? These animals have bright white fur coats to help them blend into the snow. The Arctic hare likes to stay hidden from predators, animals that might want to eat it, whereas the Arctic fox likes to stay blended into the background so that it won't be seen when it's on the hunt. In the summer, when all the snow melts, these animals' fur coats change to a dark brown color so that they can blend into the rocks and soil instead. Did you know that baby seals are called pups? Their bright white fuzzy fluffy fur coat helps them stay safe in the snow too. As a baby seal grows up and starts to go swimming, its white fur coat will change into a dark gray with black spots. This will help it stay hidden in the dark ocean waters, away from the eyes of killer whales and sharks. Caribou live in the Arctic too. In the cold winter months, they like to travel south to a different part of the Arctic where it's warmer. In order to prepare for this long journey, there's only one thing that a caribou does when it's not traveling. Eating. There are many different types of birds that visit the Arctic in the summer months, too. Like this guy is an amazing traveler. The Arctic tern travels around the world every year. They'll lay their eggs in the Arctic during the summer months, fly all the way to Antarctica for the winter, and then fly all the way back up to the Arctic when summer begins. I'd be huffing and puffing if I had to fly that many miles. Speaking of puffin, this bird is called a puffin. They're great swimmers and they come up on land to have babies and make nests. Their feathers are waterproof, allowing them to hold in warm air in the icy cold waters of the Arctic. A snowy owl. How do you think that this owl's white feathers help it survive in the Arctic? That's right. These white feathers help the owl blend into the snow and the ice so that it won't be seen when it goes out to hunt. What does that sound mean? I can't hear you. Joke time! That's right, it's joke time. And I have got some great Arctic themed jokes for you guys today. All right. What do polar bears like to eat? Burgers. Okay, 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 here's another one, here's another one. Where do polar bears keep their money? In snow bags. <laughs> Snow bags? <laughs> Whoa! Who is this? Is this a unicorn? This, my friends, is a special type of whale called a narwhal. The male narwhals have a big long tusk coming out of their heads. That's not a horn, that's a tooth. 
Beluga whales and narwhals are some of the many different types of whales that live in the Arctic waters. Like us, all whales are mammals, so they can't breathe underwater and have to come up for air. But they all have several layers of blubber, or fat, to keep them warm. The area of the Arctic that's wide open, rocky land is called the tundra. The ground in the tundra is frozen, but some plants can still grow there in the summer months. Lots of animals, such as moose, depend on the plants they find there for food. However, there's another area of the Arctic that warms up a lot more in the summer months, so you'll actually see trees there. This part of the Arctic is called the taiga. Amur tigers live in the taiga. <laughs> tigers in the taiga. <laughs> These types of tigers are very rare, and they're also the largest of all the different kinds of tigers. Porcupines live in the taiga too. They climb the trees and eat berries, nuts, pine needles, and tree bark. People live in the Arctic too. Most of them live in the parts of the Arctic that are warmer and greener, but some people do live in the very, very cold places. During the winter months, they'll get around on snowmobile or by sled. Here is a reindeer getting ready to pull a sled for someone. The Arctic isn't a great place to grow crops or farm, so people tend to make the most of the plants, animals, and fish that they find there for their food and materials. So now you know that even though the Arctic is way, way up north and it's very cold and very dark for a lot of the year, it's still filled with life. Yep, the Arctic is a very cool place. And now you know that it's cool in more ways than one. You stay cool, everyone. And remember to always be clever. <laughs>